so hey guys what's up how are you all i hope so that you are fine so today in this video we are going to discuss about uh, chain yard that how exactly it works and what is its benefits all right so basically uh, chain yard provides secure images for development environments images are rebuilt daily uh, as we know if we do change then images also get changed so all these things will be coming uh, under this process so there are major advantages uh, of chain uh, guard is that will having image size uh, very less as compared to if you compare it to other uh, images like docker then it will uh, provide very less file size so this is the benefit of using chain guard images so if we uh, going to discuss more into deeper uh, like about the development how it will ha helps in development Uh, how it helps in the deployment pr process all these things we are going to discuss parallelly firstly let me discuss about the development part so i have built very simple application uh, which will do upload part only upload part if i up upload any image video then it will going to upload to some directory like in my case if i show you the code so there is one docker file and inside this i have my chain guard image the image that i have used is python like if i copy this and go to chain guard image and search here python then you going to see the same thing cgr.dev chain guard python cgr.dev cgr python so same thing i have used by pulling like it's uh, absolutely if it is a maze then we want to pull it at any machine at any time when needed so that's why if i pull it here now i'm going to use it virtually without installing or downloading into my pc so this is the benefit of using chain guard image and without wasting any more further time let me just come toward the ui that how interface looks it's not looking very uh, good but if i do come to the uh code part so this is the ui so what this ui does if i click on choose file and want to select any thing like if i choose this image and then and click on upload file it does it work when i click here it doesn't work why does it doesn't work because because my file is not live on docker right now because it totally dependent on docker right now because if it is a mage then i will use it but if the function that i have written over here is different and it doesn't meet the scenario then it doesn't work like if you can see over here i have post request at 5001 upload but where does it, this 5001 uh, port fires it will fire somewhere else na but right now in this case it doesn't fire here but it have to be fired somewhere else so where does it yeah so to the docker so let me introduce to the docker so what we are going to do right now is we going to uh, deploy this application to the docker so how we will do that so firstly let me open docker here we go so docker looks like this i have some images let me just delete these images all right and i have some containers let me delete this too all right now it become new all right so here i have opened the terminal as you can see over here i want to go to my directory so let me close this so to go to the directory let me open the vs code and
I wanna go to the directory of this file. So where it is situated? All right. Situated at the build one front end. Let me copy this and cd. All right. Now I am in front end directory. Now let's begin. So if you want this code, then you are able to uh, clone this from my repo let me provide you the repo the repo file is this so in your description uh, of this video you are able to clone this application uh, by using this link okay so uh, let me introduce to the uh, readme file that i have built so the first step is to run this command minus t and then name so let's name it as first video chain not okay so let us use dot because we want whole project to deploy so that's the beginning all right now our application is uh, in the build process and it's going to build so the next step is to run it add some port so let's run it at 5001 5001 and the name for the same is first video chain guard all right so as we can see over here our port is live now and we're going to upload now we have the ability to upload so if i gonna uh, but before uploading let me go to the dashboard and go to the containers here we go here is our first container that is in running phase so let me click over here and go to the files and into file there are nothing like if i open app bin dev there is no file with the name uploads okay so and there is no modification uh, scenes over here but when I do upload something now like if I do upload something upload file then I've seen some uh, change in my logs like this and if I come to the files then there is some modification done if I open this app uh, why is that not opening let me just go outside and open it again go to files app it's going on here uh, let me minimize this open it again files I don't know why does it not opening but there is some file opening file editor <laughs> I don't know why this is not opening uh, when I click over here it will not open leave it uh, let's uh, upload one more file let me upload a small video like this uploading if I do uh, go to my docker hub where it is where it is and there is some glitch seems to have for the sake i will just delete this and i want to run again so that we are able to see the modification part let me run this again all right now it's running okay so let me try to upload again i don't know why does it uh, giving error but uh, let me choose file upload all right success and here we go go to the file there is some modified things now it's opening so when i open the upload then you are able to see there is one image 
if I do upload any video or something else, then it will go now. Like if I do upload this 13 second video, upload, and if we go to the uh, Docker file, you are going to see this video also being uploaded to the Docker image. Now, two steps are done. The third one is. to make it deploy to the server live server when i open the docker hub site when i go into this you are able to see there are some images like this but we are going to update this so for uploading it to the docker hub what we are going to do we going to use this command so for the sake let me just clear and paste this command so what this command is so basically we were tag the things like the first thing is the local image name and the third one is the the last thing is the that you are going to uh, see over here is the username of the docker hub so how does we write this so for getting this we just gonna log into the hub dot docker dot com and we are going to click over here over the profile and I'm gonna copy this. To copying this, we're gonna change our username. All right, and we're gonna change the tag name to. So, what we're gonna name this? Uh, let's name it as Test Chain Guard. All right. And name it as latest but uh, I think we have to name it same as it is that a docker file have first video chain guard all right so let me name it as first video chain guard the same thing for this latest so this is the command to tag a docker image all right tagging is done now let's move toward the fourth part the fourth part is the docker login in this part it will ask you for the credential but i have already logged in so definitely it will not ask if it asks then i will fill the details if not asked login succeed now let's move toward the fifth part fifth step now this step is very crucial because it will gonna push our image to the hub docker hub we're gonna copy this same thing like this and paste it over here and then enter i'm gonna see that it will be preparing for the deployment uh, to the docker hub now as you can see in our excel row that we have finished the uh, first part all right uh, how will you came to know that our docker hub is live now let me refresh as you can see over here first video chain guard as we click over here and go to the public view you're gonna see public docker pull command let me copy this now the last step is docker hub oh sorry aws emr now we are going to publish our docker image that is live now to the aws emr so how we'll do that for doing this let me go to the aws console now sign into console and let me search for emr uh, ECR Elastic Container Registry and let me click on create repository follow these steps same steps should be followed from your end uh, let me name it as chain guard video tutorial 
all right uh, create repository so as you can see over here change our video tutorial is now uh, live but our image is still with us so let me click on view push commands and copy this this is the first step and let me go to the console and let's wait for the connecting so what we have discussed till now our project what it exactly doing the deployment part of the docker hub our uh, image is now deployed successfully and the last one is the aws so now we are at last step and after this we will conclude this video so Mm, all right now paste that aws link that we have achieved from this all right now let me click enter all right login succeed now what we gonna do we gonna do the image link that we have achieved we gonna copy this and paste it over here and then enter now our image is can getting pulled very easily without any error now click on view pull push commands now what are we going to do we going to do docker tag going to use this command let's paste it over here now let me do some changes over here definitely we have to do this because we're going to paste here our uploaded image name that we have achieved over here and then enter now what we're going to do we're going to do push enter now it will be preparing now definitely it is very easy process to upload the uh, docker but it will take time if you are new because these things will get uh, in practice when you do your job so this is the thing that we have did till now and uh, now i am concluding this video with the point that uh, chain guard provide very uh, uh let me told about this by opening the site first because i know that if i open uh let me go to the upper part and there are lots of images that chain guard provides and their uh, their benefits is that uh, the size of that image is very very less as compared to the docker image if you compare it with others then we will definitely found there are lot of things that changer provides so that's why i have used and if you want to clone the repo then you can by clicking over here you can clone the repo you can fork it from here all right so that's all for today i hope so that you are able to uh, learn that how to deploy how to develop uh, and how to use uh, chain guard images and that's all for today have a nice day good day